Okay, in this video I'm going to do a uh, introduction to Trish and Steve. Now Trish is, uh, not Trish and Steve, but uh, Bonnie and Steve. They're a married couple. Bonnie is uh, 51 and Steve is 52. And they live in the big city. But when Trish, their daughter, who's 29, and they have grandkids, I think they're four and five. Um, when Trish, Trish's husband, Connor, who's 30 or 31, he um, just suddenly disappears. Bonnie makes a big deal. She's, she's rather dramatic. She's rather theatrical. She's quite a bit, her behaviors are rather histrionic. But she prides herself and she makes everybody know that she's a really great mother and a really great grandmother. Well, really good grandmother. Okay, <laughs> Don't say great grandmother. You know why. But anyway, um, so she prides herself on this and she makes everybody known and when she hears this about Trish, she goes to Trish's house and it takes, it helps him. Now, Trish lives in Victorson County, Texas, and um, Bonnie and Steve, they, they um, live in the big city, like I said. Well, Steve didn't like it. See, Steve didn't like that Bonnie, you know, uh, had become, you know, like she was going to do it no matter what he said. And the way he saw it, he saw it as she just became too sassy lately. And that, that was his view, okay? Well, she's always been, but he's just recently started to notice it. But there's a reason why. Now, uh, you know, before, you know, he would notice a little bit, but he, she would always be sassy toward others is the way he saw it, even though she really was sassy toward him. You know, and he liked it that he, she was that way with other people, but as he feels lately, she's turned it around on him. Like I said, she was always doing it. He just wasn't paying attention. And, you know, a lot of people like this can be married for a very long time. And uh, before the one, um, the one that's not so bad, let's put it this way, uh, that way, um, figures it out. Now, her behaviors are very histrionic, like I said. And she can be evil. But she prides herself, like I said, she prides herself on being a good mother and grandmother. So, um, anyway, so when Bonnie told him that she was going to go to Trish's to take care of her and Trish and the girls, he was glad. He was actually glad because he had gotten tired of her being so, uh, you know, so sassy and all of that, that he, he felt well, it might be a good thing. We need a little break. Okay. Um, but at first, you know, he didn't like it that she just told him what she was going to do. They didn't, she didn't want to talk it over and she just wanted to tell him this is what's going to happen. And uh, so he, he, you know, once he thought about it, he said this might be a good thing because they really need to break, you know, get away from one another for a while. So, you know, he just had enough. Okay, now after she'd been away for, you know, a while, not a long while, but um, say a few weeks or so, um, now, Steve, you know, he worked. He, he, Bonnie could do her job from Trish's through the Internet. But he had a job he could not do through the Internet. So he, you know, didn't even offer because he had to be at his job. And um, now, for a few years there, he, he um, there was a woman that worked in the office as the dispatcher for his job. And this woman's name is Karen. And um, now, Steve was, a, you know, a, is an on-call network engineer okay and he was you know this the dispatcher was usually the one that called him Karen you know Karen was the one that called him quite often you know, there were other people that worked there but you know she was usually usually the one that would call him and uh, so you know she now Steve is actually 52 at this point and Karen is 37 years old okay now, Karen's always, you know, people th think of her as just, she's always a little bit on the flirtatious side, histrionic, a little histrionic, too, her behaviors. And, uh, you know, Karen reminds um, Steve of the old Bonnie, you know, when they were young, not the old, but the young Bonnie, you know, how she was, and she's just her whole demeanor is like Bonnie used to be before as he feels Bonnie became so sassy and um, 
And, and back then, when Bonnie was younger, she always looked up to him. She always was like hanging on his every word, and she paid a lot of attention. But as Bonnie got older, she just you know, she was hanging on her own words, and she wanted all the attention for herself, and became like that. Well, Karen, kind of, you know, he, Karen does remind him of, like I said, that, that young Bonnie. And when once Bonnie, I mean, once Karen, you know, he didn't disclose too much of his personal life to anybody. But one day he had to go into the office. There was some kind of failure, you know, hardware failure. Some, and the server went down and all these electricity things, have, you know, electrical things happening. So he went into the office and um, he was the only person on call. And he did some of that kind of work. And he went in and uh, Karen you know, showed him what was going on and, you know, told him all about the problems. So he was working. He was there, you know, much of the, you know, for more than one day. When, um, you know, he, he told Karen, you know, Karen says, well, won't your wife be upset that you're working so much and all that? Because they really need to get this done. And there was some other guy, but overall he was in charge. And uh, he told Karen, you know, that his wife is in Victorson County with her daughter, you know, with their daughter and their grandkids. Well, that was all that Karen needed. You know, she went into action, you know, right then. She had always had her eyes set on Steve, and she really didn't care that Steve was married. She did not care. She had her eyes set for Steve, and she did. She just went into action. She went deeper into her flirtation. She was all, you know, they always thought that that's just her behavior. She's always like that. So don't take it personally, you know, she's flirtatious. But really, she was looking for herself for, for a man that had a good job and made money. You see? Okay, now one thing that Karen didn't know for certain, and she thought she might know, was that she knew, she knew that, um, that um, Steve did live, you know, had lived in the... Um, in Victorson County at some at one point at least she thought so and she thought he was probably not one of the, the those living in the town that was actually called the outlaws long history um, they could not buy land in property they could not own land and property in the rest of Victorson County okay which was very rich very wealthy well that's what Karen was kind of mistaken about so she was, she had her eyes set on him, okay, thinking that he was one that was going to eventually inherit a lot. So she really didn't care. And in her view, it didn't matter. You know, Bonnie wasn't there, so it was her time to, you know, to, you know, go for what she wants, and that was somebody else's money. And to marry into it to where she would live happily alone ever after once he was gone. You see? She was she was bad, just a bad 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 person. But anyway, I wanted to introduce all this. This part of the uh, series, you know, it's fiction. Anything in Victorson County or anything on this channel, unless otherwise noted, otherwise mentioned, or it's fiction. Read the disclaimer below this video on YouTube. It's a series that is a there's several series that all to really come together as one series. But fictional disclaimer states, you know, the usual standard disclaimers. That's in the description box below this video on YouTube. All right, enough for this one. They're just introductions. I'll talk to you in another video. Oh, by the way, they are, are all copyrighted to me. And uh, 